Hey guys, today I'd like to give you an update on my Mocha build. I worked out on connecting two tricky devices. I have this Coolens Dual Pump Reservoir Pump Combo and uh, Aqua Computer Reservoir. They're very close, very tight and it was really hard to connect them. It could be actually a good choice for um, hard tubing for this particular situation but because I don't have enough fittings of right color so I have to work out something else. And uh, it was really a long process. I spent almost three hours trying to this way, another way, and um, try out probably like 50 different fittings before I figured out how to do it. And in the end, I used um, two fittings that I never used before in my life. And the one of them I thought I would probably never use. So I give you full details as a final result, but um, it will be not a video I usually do for you with, um, you know, just, we film as it goes otherwise uh, it could be really painful as i said already so one thing that i'd like to mention is you see i installed two pumps and uh, sleeves them with uh, my arabica uh, dark side sleeve and um, and this ex connection itself but let me reposition cams because i want you to see it close by um, and i explain you what actually i did there and um, well hopefully it maybe help you out if you build something similar or just try to do exactly the same thing as i'm doing all right let me give you some scoop here i disconnected everything so i can show you all details first of all i'd like to make a comment about this uh, reservoir um, dual pump combo from coolants as you remember i had one pump originally only but i decided to go for two it just gives a little bit peace of mind for setups um, pump still electronic device it can fail eventually so if you have one standby it's peace of mind it's maybe not convenient to disassemble the entire sink or many computer in this particular time frame and uh, so for little money you just buying a little bit insurance so that makes for me and also i as you see i sleeved and changed connector type on the pump so i will feed it from my fan controller and this is a power management um, feed that will go to the of both pumps will go to the motherboard so you can control um, various speed uh, for those two and I also I added to those um, LED hosting capable stop fitting so I can I can put um, LED lights here and get some glowing and uh, I already did some shots and uh, I will insert it in the video so you get some idea uh, how things looks with um, and what I'm trying to achieve visually so um, back to back to this connection of those two the main problem that I encountered first of all um, you can see that this mounting that I believe is for DDC pump um, it's actually interfering with uh, those three holes that aqua computer drills in um, in this reservoir so I can't even put um, tubing uh, properly and um, I was suffering and trying to make the connection between uh, outer port of this pump reservoir combo and and this connection and uh, it was like nothing really worked finally after a few hours of researching and trying this and that and that I remembered that Beats Power has a special fitting that called um, off center fitting, and uh, nobody ever buy, buys it. I, I had it in stock forever, and uh, but I happily run into warehouse and get one, and it just allows me to shift connection to um, certain um, point that um, I can connect it to to the pump. And uh, on this side, all I did is just uh, took two. 90 degree elbows and uh, put um, two spacers between them both um, uh, c42 i believe or c40 the part number for those two and uh, and after that just making a little bit of uh, like bending exercise uh, i was able to make sure that they, they meet each other because uh, if you go um, 90 degree uh, it's actually a level is not right but by moving them a little bit on the side i level them up together and they, they meet perfectly so in this way I can um, connect those two points uh, without much problem and as you see I also use this new fittings which is um, it's actually a SLI, SLI connector and um, you're supposed to run it between the video cards but um, 
I just use it here and that's how it works and basically it's expandable it also helps because I cannot mount uh, the case too small so I can't mount full assembly assembled so I have to put uh, one device other device separately and then I will be connecting you can see that if you loosen up this part so the whole thing can um, expand or or subtract so so that's uh, that's how it works all right so this is will be my field port and just the dummy plugs which is stock and also um, for the additional effects um, i have this uh, another led uh, hosting fitting so which will give me light right in the middle of the reservoir um, i also did a couple shots so i insert them to get an um, idea how things are looking and uh, what i'm i'm working on in my head what kind of visuals I'm after but other than that that pretty much uh, what uh, how things looks I also would like to show you what's uh, happening inside of the case because I did a couple modifications on um, uh, case itself so but we need a little bit different records for that well in the case one of my problems was that um, I actually was running on the notion that on the bottom of the case uh, this particular hole is a hundred 20 millimeters so I even have a gentle typhoon uh, custom paint for me so which I supposed to put here but the hole actually for 140 millimeters so um, I was uh, contemplating different opportunities like make adapter and uh, um, you know different things and uh, but after some consideration I decided that I just uh, will put 140 millimeter fan here and uh, so this is the model I'm going to use it is actually uh, also has LED lights and um, so you know I, I'm going a little bit of um, orange color everywhere um, but um, to give you some idea let me connect it somewhere yeah so it's not much glow um, I will also will slow it down so it uh, wouldn't be uh, too destructive but it goes in line with everything else I'm doing and I'm pretty sure you would agree after seeing other shots I show you with other devices and um, so that was something that I, I, I changed and um, other than that I did a little bit of um, uh, connections on the front you can see I installed my uh, switches unfortunately it's not exactly the color I, I want because I believe this one is red and this one is blue or something like this so it's a little bit off um, I might look into replacing proper switches later but right now I actually I need something that works and um, this connection I just put a bunch of it's pretty ugly but believe me it was even uglier before because you have all this colored cables with a huge uh, chunky connector so I just put a heat shrink and shrink it and um, it would be really visible much because the window actually ends right there so it's uh, it's more like for now just doesn't annoy me personally visually but it's it would be even visible in the end so you can see I'm start running some some wires already here and there so start getting some clutter going on and um, next step before I'll actually start building on water cooling portion itself I, I still would like to figure out what's happening with the, all this uh, power connections maybe do some sleeving maybe not but we'll see how things going the latest sleeving will be even worse because you see the case getting busy and busy every second so better to get rid of all these questions questions about about wiring itself and then we will figure out the final stage will be water cooling all right well that's it um i don't know how much i'll progress on the weekend uh, but um, if there's anything i'll let you know all right guys thanks a lot and see you soon with some updates